What's up guys, it's Jack from Speed Bump Garage and nope, no dad today. Today I'm going to be doing a will it run on the black four door Mercury Comet. I think it was a few videos back, my dad went and got these two Comets and we have another one inside and he said that if I can get this one running, I can have it. My boy, I'd love to give you that. I took that as a deal. I had surgery a few days ago. If you guys didn't know that, I have stitches up here, so if I sound a little bit funny, that's why. Let's take a look at this car. Under the hood. Got maybe a small block. It's got some flat tires. We'll have to inflate those if we get it running. <laughs> this keychain. Cool. The dash is a little bit rough. Does the white one have a dash? I nope. Maybe one of them do. So I think the first thing I'm gonna have to do with this car is check the oil. I'll have to get a ratchet and spin it over full revolution. If both of those are good, we'll try to hook some fuel up to it and see if we can find our first problem. I'm sure there's going to be some problems. All right, got a rag. I'm going to check our oil. What the heck? You see that? <laughs> what? Did that break off in there? What in the world? Never seen that before. Our whole dipstick is broken off. Oh, I sure hope it's not down there. All right, I got a dipstick out of another small block Ford that we have over there. And I'm worried that the rest of the other one's gonna stop this one from going down, so. Let's see. Oh no. Yeah. I think the other one's still down there. Oh no. Yes. Let's work with that. Got a lot of oil. <laughs> Dad came to help. We got it pushed down in there. You think that's enough? Or it is enough, but you think we need to change it? Not to get it running if we're gonna, if you get it. If you successfully get it running, get some heat built up in it, we'll get it in on the lift and change it in there. Yeah. All right. That's all the assistance you're getting for now. Okay. Think you can make it happen? Yeah. Ooh. We're gonna need some of these. We got some of them in the shop. So do I need I need to hook up a socket to this bottom boy? I would. Okay. Alright, I got a ratchet and hooked it up to the bottom pull, pulley and I turned it over a few times. Now let's see if the carburetor's hung up. <coughs> Carburetor's not hung up. Everything seems to be intact. All right. Our next thing we need to do is fix this cable. It's just like this, but our battery cable, it's the ground. It's done for. I got, we used one of our new ones. We got a newer one right here i gotta cut this back to new wire and then tighten this up i 
I got, here, I'll snap you off of this. Ooh. All right, I got our new connection on our negative, negative, because it, both of the wires are red, and this one goes down to the ground. So, yeah, so I got these all hooked up, and now I need a battery, so I'm gonna go grab a battery. I got my battery hooked up inside of there, and I'm just thinking of other stuff I've seen my dad do, and I think he checks the points, maybe files them sometimes. And sorry about the wind, it's getting really windy out here, so. Let's see if we can get this distributor cap off. I don't think we'll need to do anything on these. Look at that, they look brand new inside of there. So I don't think we'll have to mess with those. All right, I was messing with my ignition inside and we're having some problems with the key and I don't think our ignition on works. So I got this jumper cable and I hooked it up to the ignition down here and I'm gonna hook it straight up to the battery. Let me use my other hand. Okay, and let's check our points now. Oh, look at it down in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, you guys can definitely see that. The points are firing hard. I think this guy's gonna run. Let's put this distributor cap back on. And I think we'll squirt some fuel down in the carburetor and crank it over. We have to hook up our ignition. Since our ignition's not working, I'm gonna hook this up. a few times. Now I think it's time to fire this baby up. It's getting dark and it's windy so I'd like to hear this baby make some noise. Well I actually better get my dad before I do anything in case there's a fire or something happens so I'm gonna go grab dad and we're gonna try to start this thing up. Okay, you think you're ready? Yep, I think so. What have you got going on here? I see you're using the, the starter switch. Yeah, and then I got my ignition jumped. Jumper wire to the coil. So yep. are you ready for power on? Yep. Do you have it in neutral? I think so. It's a three on the tree. It's in the middle, so I think so. All right, let's go give her a little fuel. Just squirt it down here? Yeah. Enough. Give it a little more. Okay. Ignition on. Alright, let's crank her over. Stand off to the side. Dude, it sounds awful. It's not turning over very fast. It might have a low battery. I don't think that's going to cut it. It's going to have to crank it faster than that before it'll do anything. I haven't been out here. I'm not sure what all he's done yet. I know he's done this with me several times. I'm assuming he's checked the points. You guys can comment below if he hasn't but it looks like he's turned it over we're squirting fuel obviously he doesn't have a fuel source hooked up yet the fuel pump is still hooked up I would like to see that unhooked so we don't suck any crap out of the fuel tank I think I'll have him do that but it sure does not sound good turning over like it's got maybe a compression issue but we'll see it could be a battery issue too I'm not sure where he grabbed this battery is in the shop. I don't know if it's fully charged, but I think he's off to a good start. Let's see if he can make this happen. 
All right, we got the jumper box hooked up. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> a little faster. Yeah, so not great. Might be having connection problems down at the starter too. Yeah, try it. Yeah. <laughs> You try to go at it again? I think it's firing. Try it. Well, obviously it sounds horrible. I think what your next step should be, I'm going to give you a little advice. Is that okay? Yeah. I would pull the spark plugs, see what they look like. We obviously haven't looked at that and maybe shoot some PB blaster or something down these cylinders. Let it sit for a day or two. Get all that stuff. What are you yawning for? Tired. Tired. Let it sit for a little bit and probably need to check our battery cable connections from the solenoid down to the starter. Our slow turnover might be from that. But I think you're off to a good start, but I think you are going to have to pull the spark plugs. Okay. And if you want to do things really right, you can go ahead and do a compression test on it while you got the spark plugs out. All right. That'll be good for you. I think that'll be the plan. Okay. All right. So you're done for today. I still think you'll probably get it running. You've done everything good so far. It's just not going to be quite that easy. Yeah. You going to work on this this week? Yep. If you ever see us on that video, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Yeah. Front. We're definitely not going to get that one running. Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah, it's missing stuff. It's actually been a few weeks since Jack made his attempt to get the four-door Mercury Comet going and he has not been back on it. I think he spent one more afternoon on it. There's my two-door that he mentioned in the first of the video. He was having issues getting these spark plugs out of it, and I have not been out here to help him get them free. So what I want to do is I'll break all eight of these spark plugs loose for him, and I'm going to turn him back loose on it. I want him to have another opportunity to get it going, and I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to give him advice. He'll be in the comments of this video. Also, I was gonna show you what he has been working on. He kind of took off of that and he bought some lawn mowers. So he's kind of got the side of my shop junked up with a bunch of lawn mower, but he has been building a racing lawn mower and this thing is turning out really cool. He's got it just lowered completely to the ground. Had to do a ton of work to it. It's got some pretty bad gear oil leaks right now because he flipped the transaxle upside down. Now, I don't know anything about lawn mowers. I did tell him I thought if he ran that upside down, it would leak. He didn't listen to me, and here we are. So live and learn. I think he's going to end up packing that transaxle with grease. And he hasn't actually filmed anything on that build, and it's really cool. It's turning out cool, and it's pretty fast. He's driven it once. So what I need from you guys in the comments of this video, let's get Jack some advice on what you think he needs to do to get the four-door Comet running, because like he said, that's going to be his car. It's free if he can get it running. He can have it. And tell him you want to see his lawnmower. We want to see more about the lawnmower. It's super cool. He gets out here, and some of you guys know everything takes way longer when you're filming. And he's a little bit impatient on the lawnmower, and he didn't really know what he was doing. So he kind of just took off and started on the build. But I think we could still get you guys a pretty cool video on it. Let him know you want to see what he's doing. Give him some advice, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. See you then.